All right, yo, Shalom, Shalom. First and foremost, I want to say um, that all praises and glory go unto Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Raka Kodash. Uh, double honors on to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone that do rule exceptionally well. Also, Shalom, citations, mercy, and blessings to all you sincere brothers out there pushing this word with truth and with faith. All right, my name is Thabwa Amath of Great Millstone Northwest. Um, I got a little lesson prepared. Uh, basically going into the topic of love, all right? Now, the reason I chose to go into this topic is because you hear a lot of people, hey, like, first of all, this world, this world thinks and knows what love is, but according to the scriptures, it has absolutely, uh, no idea exactly what love is, okay? A lot of people want to say, um, they want to quote the scripture, uh, from 1 John, the fourth chapter, I'm gonna grab it in the blue letter. All right. A lot of people would like to quote. Actually, I can. I got the, the airplane mode on. So lock you. Actually, it might work. It might work. It might work. Let me see. Anyway, they want to quote the first John uh, chapter, the fourth chapter uh, saying that God is love. Oh, it is going to work. OK, let's go to that. First John uh, chapter four, verse eight. OK, they would like to quote this. It says. Uh, actually, I'm going to start up. It says, this is 1 John chapter 4, verse 7. Beloved, let us love one another, for love is of the Most High, and everyone that loveth is born of the Most High, and knoweth the Most High. And he that loveth not, knoweth not the Most High, for the Most High is love. Now, people would will take that, and they will run with just that last part, saying that the Most High is love. And, and we hear that all the time at camp. You know, we say something to somebody and they'll shout back, God is love, right? Which that's all they're presenting is, is, is as if the most high is just only uh, love and the only um, the only emotion he ever expresses is love, which is false, man. All right. The most high is actually most high is pissed off at this very moment. All right. With majority of the people that's on the earth, including Israelites, man. All right. He's even more mad at Israelites than he is at heathens. All right. And that's that's according to the scriptures, man. So a lot of people would like to say this that the most high is love. So let's look up this word here and see what the blue letter have. Uh it requires the internet. Okay, let's turn the internet on then. Lord willing, don't nobody uh don't nobody bother me while I'm um while we're doing this. Shit, I don't got a back button. Um so I can I'm trying to get back to this. Alright. So let's try to let's try to look up this word here. All right, for First John, uh, chapter four, verse eight. Let's look up this word love and see what they have for us. Um, agapo. It looks like agape. The word agape. Okay. Damn, I wasn't trying to hit that. Shit. Um, let's try this again. The word here is agape. The Strong's G26, all right? Agape, affection, goodwill. This is the usages. Affection, goodwill, love, uh, benevolence, brotherly love, love, feast. All right, the definition says affection or uh, benevolence. Specifically, a love feast, all right? Charitability, uh, dear, love, all right? So that's what... um. That's according to this, First uh, John chapter four and verse eight. That's what people um, people love to to quote. Okay, and let me turn my airplane mode back on. All right, because as you see, my phone's about to start blowing up. Um, let's turn this. Or uh, let's look at this. Right. So it says, um, uh, going back to the scripture. Going back to the scripture. It says, um. He that loveth not, knoweth not the Most High, for the Most High is love. Now, what they uh, always neglect to add in is uh, verse 7, saying that let us love one another. All right? Because even Yahweh Shai said that himself, that he uh, a new commandment is for us to love each other. All right? He said that in John the 14th chapter. Let's jump to that real fast. All right? So, we're supposed to, they're supposed to actually be, you're supposed to actually be showing love to your fellow uh, person. 
All right. Now, majority of the people that's here in the world don't show love in any type of form or fashion, man. If you don't believe me, just pay attention while you're driving. All right. You'll see people cutting each other off constantly. Right. It, you, you try to you put your blinker on to get over. They want to speed up to try to trap you in that lane rather than letting you over. And this is just a worldly example. But if I tell you of worldly things and you understand not, well, you're not going to understand the spiritual side of it, man. All right. That's just a worldly uh, example. OK, it's you're not in the point where people hold open doors. All right. People don't extend a hand towards their fellow man. So ain't nobody loving each other, man. OK, uh, first or I'm sorry, uh, John, chapter 14, verse 15. All right. This is Yahweh Shai speaking. It says, if you love me, keep my commandments. Oh, so like yeah. this, this is uh, that one. This is a uh, I'm thinking of uh, John. Uh, third. This is good, too, though. If you love me, keep my commandments. If you love the uh, if you love you, or yeah, if you love you, shy, you got to keep the commandments, which that's really when, we, when we're going to get down to it. Well, what love is according to the scriptures and it's going to be keeping the commandments, man. OK, but um, Salakia, for the point of what I was trying to get at, this is uh, John 13. The 13th chapter, um, verse 34, starting here at verse 34. All right, Yahweh Shai's words, red letter. It says, a new commandment I give unto you, that ye love one another, as I have loved you, that ye also love one another. So you're supposed to be, you know what I'm saying? As far as, as, far as love goes, right? For all you Jake out there that love to throw that word around without really understanding it, you're supposed to be treating your fellow man as if, uh, as Yahweh Shai would treat you, you know, which sometimes, guess what? Love isn't always going to be some type of kind action. Love isn't always going to be a hug. All right. Sometimes that love is going to be uh, rough, man. Sometimes love is a punch in the face. If that's if that's what's uh, necessary at that time, man. All right. Somebody acting uh, completely foolish. All right. Sometimes, you know, you got to get their attention, man. Some love's not always going to be uh, that touchy feely, uh, you know, BS that they push off in the media and with the Christian church, you know, that it's all hugs and kisses and cupcakes and rainbows, man, because that's not what that's not what it's about at all, man. Love is keeping the commandments. All right. As we're going to read. OK. It says, by this shall all men know that ye are my disciples, if ye have love one to another. So if you call yourself following after Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, well, then you need to be showing love towards um, uh, the brothers that's next to you. All right. First and foremost, the brothers that's right there next to you. The ones that's, that's, that's you know, uh, being servants of Yahweh Shai as well. All right. You need to be showing love towards them. You got some you got some people out here. All right. You got some people out here that that. Uh, claim that there is a life that go out there and that teach on the streets or maybe they don't go and teach on the streets all right let's let's use that as the example all right people that don't go out and teach on the streets is that showing love all right is that showing love one towards another if you're not um out there preaching on the street if you're not trying to feed the flock man didn't Yahweh Shai tell peter that if you love me then feed the flock all right didn't he ask him that three times hey peter do you love me to the point where peter uh got upset like man you know, he got disgruntled like, man, Yahweh Shai, you keep asking me if I love you. You know, I love you, man. You know, I love you. And what did Yahweh Shai say to him? If you love me, feed my sheep. So you guys that ain't out there feeding the sheep, do are you really showing love? All right. Since everybody wants to claim and talk about love, do you really understand what that is? You know, are you really getting the the, pes uh, the, the, the message of what um of what love really is, man? All right. Cause a, a lot of you people, a lot of you people don't seem to be getting it, man. A lot of you guys that claim that you're Israelites, you don't seem to be getting it. We know for a fact that the people in the world don't understand what love is, man. That's why they try to use that scripture uh, that God is love without understanding what love is. Cause as Yahweh Shai say, you gotta love one another, man. And as even when we read it in First John four and four, uh, starting at verse seven, verse seven said that you're supposed to be loving one another. All right. You got people that's not showing love out here, man. All right. Makes me think of that. Uh, what is that? The black eyed peas. Where is the love? <laughs> you know, and I'm, I'm just I'm joking around a little bit, you know. But anyway, let's jump back over here to chapter 14. We read it, but let's read it again. All right. First John, chapter 14, verse 15. It says, if you love me, keep my commandments, man. 
All right. This is Yahweh Shai speaking. It says, if you love me, keep my commandments. And it's just that simple, man. Keeping the commandments of Yahweh Shai. All right. Uh, what is that? First John 5. First John, the fifth chapter, uh, verse three says, for this is love. For this is the love of the most high. All right. Everybody talk about uh, the most high is love. Right. All right, let me let me actually let me read up. This is First uh, John chapter five verse one. Whosoever believe that Yahweh Shai is uh, a Mashiach, all right. If Yahweh Shai is Hamashiach, is the the Christ verbatim, right? Uh, that Yahweh Shai is Hamashiach is born of the Most High, and everyone that loveth him, that begat loveth him also that is begotten of him. Okay. So if you hey, if you're in the right mindset, you're gonna be uh, showing forth that love towards Yahweh Shai, and the way you do that is by your actions of actually keeping the commandments. Which part of the commandments is that you're supposed to be out there in the highways and the byways, uh, uh, feeding the flock, man, feeding the sheep, searching for the elect. All right, putting your hand towards the plow, not sitting back, uh, uh, you know, in your basement, sitting back in your mama's uh, in your mom's house, you know. Uh, uh, not doing nothing uh, towards the cause, man. All right? Because the elect got to get woken up. This word got to reach every ear. And we need laborers, man. We kind of was going into that at camp. We need laborers out there. We need help out here uh, pushing this word, man. All right? Uh, the, the, it says uh, well, the, the harvest is ready, but the laborers are few. All right? Roughly paraphrasing. Verse 2. By this we know that we love the Most High... Uh, actually, I'm sorry. By this we know that we love the children of the Most High when we love the Most High and keep His commandments. Okay, so that's that's how we know that we love the children of the Most High. The men that is actually active, actively uh, uh, preaching this word and uh, following the commandments to the very best of their ability, they actually have love towards their nation, man, as they should. Right? It's commanded onto us that we're supposed to love our neighbor as ourselves, man. Okay, because Yahweh Shai said that that's that's a great commandment. It's to love thy neighbor as thyself. You know, fear the Most High with your mind, body, and soul, and to love your neighbor as thyself, man. You got a lot of people that ain't really showing no love, man. They 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 talk a good talk, but when it comes down to the walking part, you know, they fall they fall really really short. You know, it says, um, for this is the love of the Most High that we keep His commandments, and His commandments are not grievous. All right. For whosoever is born of the most high overcometh the world. And this is the victory that overcometh the world, even our faith. So by our faith, we keep the commandments to the best of our ability. And we, we go out and we feed the flock, you know, to try to increase the faith of others uh, in hopes that we get delivered, man. Because that's really what it's all about, man. OK. It says, who is he that overcometh the world, but he that believeth in Yahweh Shai, uh, or that believeth that Yahweh Shai is the son of the Most High. All right. And if you believe that Yahweh Shai is the son of the Most High, you're going to believe the promise that he said he's going to come back for us, man. All right. And if you believe the promise that he's going to come back for us, you're going to follow uh, uh, all the words and the teachings that he left behind for us, man. And if you're following the words and the teachings that he left behind for us, you'll be actively uh, telling others about Yahweh Shai's return, all right? You'll be actively telling uh, others about this good gospel, all right? This wonderful work that the Most High has has placed uh, for us to be a, a partakers of, man. Okay? So that's really that's really what love is, man. You want to talk about what love is, that's, this is really where it comes down to, all right? Of what love actually is. Because it tells you that love, in Romans, it tells you that love worketh no uh, ill will towards his neighbor, man. So let's grab uh, Romans, the 13th chapter. Okay? Romans chapter 13. Where do I want to start, man? All right? Let's see. Let's see. This is uh, Romans chapter 13, starting right here at verse 8. It says, O no man anything but to love one another. All right? Owe no man anything but to love one another. For he that loveth another hath fulfilled the law. All right? So how do you fulfill that law? Remember those two great commandments Yahweh Shai said? He said to fear the Most High and to love thy neighbor as thyself. That's how you fulfill in the law, man. 
Okay? If you're if you're actively showing that love towards your brother, all right, and one of the major ways you can show love to your brother, all right, other than other than uh, uh, sacrificing yourself, because that that is uh, Yahweh Shai told you that no greater love is this than for a man to lay down his life for another, right? But also what comes with that is feeding the flock, man, going out there and actively teaching. That's that's you laying your life down for for another man. All right. In a spiritual manner, that's exactly what that is, because when you go out there in the highways and the byways, you're already presenting yourself out there as a sacrifice. You're already uh, uh, exposing yourself to danger all for the for, the, you know, the glory of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai. That's already actively happen happening. But also when you reach when you reach uh, one of the nation of Israel and it just so happened to be an elect, you help save that man's life, man. All right. Because he was when you're walking in this world, you're walking in death. All right. But once you find this truth, you find life. So if you out there on the streets, you're helping others to find life, man. You know, you're sacrificing your life to bring life onto others. All right. And that's 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 deeply spiritual, man. It's a spiritual thing that's going out there on the highways and the byways, man. So for all you guys that don't want to go out there, hey, to hell with you guys, man. Cause really you you're not you're not doing anything, man. You're not you're not helping the cause at all. You're not putting your hand uh, towards nothing. You're sitting watching the art get built up, thinking that you're gonna get a seat on there, man. But you don't want to you don't want to put in no work. You don't want to hammer in no nails and tie no ropes. But you want to watch you want to watch us build the ark and then think you're gonna get a, a seat on it, man. And that's not the case. That's not how it gets down. That's not that's not fair. That's not just. All right. It says, um, it says for this, thou shalt not commit adultery, thou shalt not kill, thou shalt not steal, thou shalt not bear false witness, thou shalt not covet. If there be any, if there be any other commandments, it is briefly comprehended in this saying, namely, that thou shalt love thy neighbor as thyself, man. All right. So majority of the laws that's out there is really, if you love thy neighbor as thyself, if you show love towards, towards your fellow Israelite, all right. <laughs> if you show love towards the others that have the same faith as you, that have the same faith and heritage as you, if you show that love towards them, then guess what? You're not going to commit any type of, uh, uh, you're not going to break any of those laws because you're not going to be trying to covet, to covet after whatever he has. All right. You're going to be sharing and helping uh, when they need help, you know, so on and so forth, man. You ain't going to be lying on that, man. Why? Because he has the same faith you do, right? He has he believes in the same power that you do. He prays to the same power that you do. So why where how are you going to uh uh how are you going to receive any benefits if you do him wrong? All you're going to receive is some judgment from the heavenly father, man, which is which is uh righteous, okay? It says um thou shalt love thy neighbor as thyself. Love worketh no ill will to his neighbor. Love worketh no ill will to his neighbor. And if you ain't out there feeding the flock, if you leaving the flock to starve, that's a that's ill, man. That's a ill will, man. All right? That's a that's a bad uh uh uh, uh act. That's a heinous and hateful act towards your uh towards your neighbor, man. Okay? It says therefore love is the fulfilling of the law. All right? So hey, you, there's there's people out there, man. If you ain't if you ain't actively feeding the flock, you ain't showing no love, man. All right, and if you ain't showing no love, you ain't gonna get no love, you know. If you out there uh, being a secret devil, faking the funk as if you're a brother, but really you a secret devil. Hey, the Most High sees that, and when and when your house shies come come back, he ain't gonna give you no love, man. And that's that's basically all it comes down to. Hey, but pretty much that was the point. Lord willing, that message was received. You know, and Lord willing, this was edifying, man. You know, the water for watching. Again, uh, all the praises and the glory goes unto Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai by Hashem, Rakak with Dash. Uh, double honors unto the apostles and the elders, great millstone that rule exceptionally well, constantly feeding the flock, showing love towards the nation of Israel. And, you know, um, Shalom, uh, uh, mercy and salutations to you sincere brothers out there. You know, until next time, I say Shalom.